right. It's that time of the week again. We get a new update to H3 VR. Hopefully everything's recording. Okay. And uh, yeah, look at all this new stuff that we got. Well, some new, some old. Well, yeah. Anyways, let's check out uh, these babies. This is the um, M1912 or uh, made by Steyr. Well, that's the American way of saying it. Steyr Manlicker. <laughs> I think the German way, uh, and excuse me for my bad pronunciation, I think it's Steyr Manlicher. I think. Again, I didn't take German in high school. I took Spanish, and uh, I was terrible at that, so... Yeah. <laughs> Not good. Not good at all. All right. So we got two versions here. Anton's already showed these off. Just uh, drop this here. Change the... Oh, no, you fell off. Forgot about that stock. Huh. There's a hole in that stock. I think, yeah, maybe uh, the stock was used to hold this gun, maybe? But the stock is not detachable, so, yeah. That's, you know, I mean, uh, that's the things that you gotta, gotta get, right? You can't have everything. But yeah, dude, this, this thing is uh, pretty slick. All right, locks open. There's no, uh, there's no ammunition in there. There's no magazine. It's all an internal magazine. You gotta use this clip here. This is a clip. Put the clip on. Oh, actually, I don't exactly know how I'm gonna do this. Oh, there we go. I think you can put some more in here. Uh, yeah, that. I actually don't know how. I don't know all the controls yet, so. Yeah, okay, stuff. So that takes two clips. Put that inside the internal magazine. Let's just take a look at this. I think the safety is on. Might need to turn it off. Oh, wait, no, this is the... Uh, all right, we'll, we'll save this one for a minute. Just going to load that up. Let's open this up. Put in this magazine. Uh, this clip inside this magazine. I think you can only put one clip on this thing. Yep. Internal magazine. Okay. So, uh, yeah, there's a safety. That's the safety. So that's the, uh, uh, we'll get to that one in a minute, but there's a safety. It's on safe. Now it's ready. All right. Locks open when it's empty. Pretty cool. This, on the other hand, this is why it's got that funky little stock attached to it is that uh, this thing is actually I think full auto I'm not too sure I don't remember exactly <laughs> you know just so excited to play around with this thing that I completely forgot but yeah so that's not safe this is probably semi-auto yep let's switch it to full auto Ooh, nice Works both ways. All right. Pretty cool. And uh, before we move on to the next couple of things, I just want to try out attaching some stuff here. Let's try a muzzle device. I, yeah, pretty much I think we can attach a muzzle device on here, but let's just try one of these barrel extenders. And a uh, classic suppressor, or silencer. Let's go with uh, large B. And then, I don't know, we can, put, uh, we can try muzzle brakes. And I don't think we can do any scopes or anything, no. But you know what? It's worth it to try. Never hurts. It's probably not going to work, but hey. Never know. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I don't think uh, there's no under barrel, so <laughs> we're just going to stick with uh, barrel stuff right now. All right, so barrel extender. Nope, that's a little too modern for that. 
But we do have a classic suppressor. Nope, does not work with a suppressor. That's fine. So that does not mean that means that it does not work with those attachments. Oh well, that's too bad. And obviously this is not gonna fit on top of this, so <laughs> but it is a uh it is a classic classic pistol. And uh yeah. Alright. Let me just uh, do something for a minute here. All right, sorry about that. Had to uh, do a little thing outside of VR for a minute, but I'm back. Thank goodness for the pause and uh, and the recording. <laughs> you can pause it now. All right, before we get onto this big monster over here, let's just check out the Model 8 with its new scope. It'd be kind of hard to put this on because I actually don't know where the attachment point is. I completely forgot. Hold on. It's a lot better if I could not hit my, ah, there we go, controllers together. So yeah, the Model 8 gets a pretty cool scope. Hold on, I just wanted to check. Yeah, that's right, good. Actually, you know what, I really want to make sure that these things don't, don't use uh, attachments. All right, oh, it's cold in my room. <laughs> My nose is running. Okay. Sorry about that. So, yeah, we get a scope for the uh, Model 8. It's pretty cool. I mean, the sights on this thing were pretty good before. Let me just clear the target here. So, you look at the sight there. It might be better in video, but in the Vive headset, it's kind of not noticeable. But I got the general idea where it is. Oh, let me just uh, open up the safety there. Stick these clip inside. Oh, you can only have one. All right, so, yep, with well, the sights there, but now we got a scope here on the side, which is pretty cool. Oh, not a bullseye. I'm a little. There we go. Actually, just want to try something before we move on to the next. Whoops. My arm swinger is not uh, working. Hold on just a second. I'm trying to find out where it is. There was another Model 8 here. This one. And this one has a detachable magazine. And it seems like it works with the scope as well. So, hey, pretty cool. So now if you want to, <laughs> wow, that looks, that looks pretty amazing. I'm not going to lie. Let me just, uh, I drifted over to the right a little bit, but that's, uh, that's okay. But this one, uh, it doesn't have the sort of like, uh, what you call it? Peephole sight here. This one is a leaf sight, or whatever that's called. I forgot what that's called, but uh, yeah, a lot harder to aim. But now you got a scope on there, so pretty cool. So yeah, so the the, uh, the scope works on that model of the Model Eight as well, and finally. We get a fictional box. I'm gonna put this right here for the MG34, which uh, a lot of people have wanted. This one I think is 200 rounds. I want to check, but we go to support ordinance. Oh, not ordinance. Sorry, machine gun. Hmm. Where is the MG42 giant box? I think this is 200 rounds. I don't exactly remember what Anton said, but let's load this baby up. Make sure everything is good. Let's clear out some of this uh, junk here. Not junk, sorry. You know that? <laughs> These are uh, pretty good weapons. Let's clear this out.
Oh my goodness. Maybe I should have just like went to the uh, menu or something. All right, let me just grab this. Oh, good. Goodness, this gun is pretty large. Let's take that on its uh, bipod and let's go to the maximum distance of 30. Everything's loaded, everything's ready to go. Was it just me, or did my game just start slowing down? Let me clean up all the empty mags, guns, and melee. Oops. I lost my, uh... Oh, I think my game is slowing down. I might have to, uh, fix that. But, you know what? I have too much stuff in my hard drives. Ah, oh, it's kind of so large. It's really hard reloading this as a lefty, left-handed player. Ugh. And now for the ultimate. Let's grab two of these bad boys and dual wield. Our troubles away. Oh, my game. Slowing down. All right, that's fun. All right. Uh, oops, I think we have somebody outside. I'm going to have to pause the video for a bit, but we will come back to some take and hold stuff when I get back. So just bear with me here. All right, finally. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot to mention there are new options in the armor swinger here. Oh, well, first of all, there's a jump. So if you hold, I think, both of the buttons. I want to try with one, just one. Oh, nope. You don't have to hold both those. You can have one. So you can be moving pretty slow just holding one of the buttons. If you hold both of them, you start to move fast. But one, you're, you're moving. This is your max speed at one. No matter how hard I swing my arms, this is as fast as you go by holding one. Oh, secret room. <laughs> but if you hold both, now you're moving. Oh, now you can't do that anymore. Now you can jump. So, yeah, if you just... Which is pretty cool. You can do a running jump, or you can do a really small jump. Oh, no, it has to be a sharp movement, right? Hoop. Hoop. <laughs> oh, this is pretty cool. I can do this all day. <laughs> Oh, wait, hold on. I'm kind of drifting off the middle of my play space here. But yeah, that's one of the new changes. Which I'll have to get used to, because I always do this, and now you jump with that, so... Whoops. Wait a minute. Gotta move this out of the way. Hopefully you didn't hear that. Sorry, that was on my mic stand. Alright, so... Now we've got arm swinger base speed. Which means that if we hold one of the arm swinger buttons, we start moving forward... So now you can do like strafe movements and stuff. So whatever your controller is pointing at. So for the, for example, I'm holding the button on this controller. I'm moving forward, moving side. And uh, actually maybe should have tried this with guns, but. Uh, so now you can just, you know, you can just uh, stand in place and walk. by just pointing the uh, controller. 
you don't have to swing your arms anymore. So I don't know if it's should be called arm swinger. But I'm not swinging my arms, see? And now you just move by pointing your controller by pressing this button right here, this button. You see that button? Right there, this one. So basically all you have to do is just uh, hold your controller out. You don't have to swing your arms anymore, but you can. Oops, ah, uh, yeah, see, I'm, I'm doing that now. I gotta get used to the jumping. But uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. So I can just, you know, put my arms down with, by my sides. And I go this way, that way. Going back, backwards. I can, uh, using this hand, I'm pointing backwards so I can have a gun out. Or if I'm, you know. So now I can strafe. Right, this way. No, I gotta go backwards. Hold on. <laughs> so, yeah, basically you're holding a gun out like this, right? Let's pretend this, uh, this hot dog is a gun. <laughs> Let's pretend this hot dog is a gun. And then basically you're holding the gun and you want to say go into that room. You know, you can, you can move forward a bit. Ah, that's cool. Oh, no. I didn't mean to do that. I ate the hot dog. Oh no, I was supposed to select some settings. Oh, well, now we gotta load. Uh, I don't know what what settings I selected, but uh, maybe I should have done that in another scene. But that is so cool though, I like that change to Arm Swinger. Makes things really cool. A lot of people complain that you can't really stray for anything, you know, while in Arm Swinger, because you have to move your arms, right? Hopefully you can see what I'm seeing. No, can you? No? No, oh, it's still loading. Alright, 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 alright. Target system detected. Oh no. Uplink successful. Oh my goodness. Target system detected. I hope this video doesn't uh, take too long. But uh yeah, you know. Let's go to take and hold again. Alright, I think we have a new uh character. For the uh, Take and Hold, Soldier Fortune Frankie. Post-war weapon loadout, spawns with a firearm, melee weapon, and health power-up. Alright, so, we're gonna do, uh... Oh, I really like that, that was cool, that was that was natural, you know? I just moved over to the side by just pointing my controller like this. I don't have to, uh... Oh yeah, this is really nice. Okay, uh, if I hold standard... Spawn lock enabled. I'm just going to mess around with this new arm swinger configuration. Standard, standard. Um, let's go nigh invulnerable for right now. And play around with this this arm swinger, this new, uh, new option. So, uh, item spawner, yeah, I'll leave that on. All right. All right, hopefully we can load into it fast, but that's probably going to take some time. I'm still, uh, oh, here we go. Whoops, what's going on here? Did I not spawn in the, uh, right area? What's, uh, oh, I don't have a radar. This is weird. Is this character broken? <laughs> what's going on here? These hallways are very spooky when there's no activity, you know? All I hear is just ambient noise. Yeah, there's no uh, there's no radar on my wrists. Oops. Ah, gotta run up these stairs. Yeah, Anton said that the stairs will be a problem that he will try to fix. So, what's going on here? Oh yeah, see, this is uh, this is weird. This uh, character I think is bugged. Oh. Well, oh well, okay, well I guess we won't pick that character, uh, Operator Ori, Emily G.I. Grace, I really wanted to play with this character, maybe, uh, let's go with the, uh, meaty difficulty, maybe, uh, let's see, health mode, custom. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay. 
Ah, uh, maybe that's the problem. Okay. So yeah, um, I was I put it on standard, but then I you know set that. So maybe I'll set it on custom. Maybe that might fix this. I don't know. Let me try again. Will this work? Tell me this works. Nope, still broken. Okay, so that character is definitely not working. There might be a... No, I don't think there's a hotfix yet. Okay, well, that's okay. That's all right. That's fine. We'll just do another character. I just really want to try out this arm swinger uh, modification. Uh, Ricky Dicky Random. Custom, enable, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Yeah, I think that character is broken, which is, you know, part of the early access. It's okay. Anton will fix it. I might do a video later. Successful. There we go. Target system detected. Let's just see what the game gave us. Oh, a Mauser. Okay. Cool. I'll just leave that one there. There. Get this uh, melee weapon. Actually, no, I don't need it. All right, let me spawn something. Oh, man, what should I take? No, no. Team, I did that before. Let's do something uh, tactical here. This one is pretty good. I just want to try out that arm swinger. Ordinance, right? Ordinance, yeah. Oh, no. I need to find. Uh, I need to find grenades here. Hold on, just a second. Oh man, I should have set this up. Maybe I could have done this better if I set this up. Forty millimeter, caseless. Oh, that's caseless. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. 40 by 46 there we go. All right, we're gonna do standard just standard. Oops All right, let's try this uh, arm swinger stuff and you know what as much as I like the uh, Mauser I'm gonna stick with something a little more tactical Pistol a USB tactical oops Okay This one is loaded this one is loaded as well. Nope. Okay. Put this on. Oh shoot! This is the uh, this is the lefty version. I keep forgetting. Oh. All right. Stick that on there. Turn on these uh, things. All right. So again, I'm not moving my arms. Usually when you would arm swinger, you would do this to move a little bit forward, but now you don't have to. Oh, I like this change. You can do a little uh, slice the pie maneuver there. Although, I don't know. I think my, I think my computer's slowing down. I really need to clean it out. So basically you're on a corner like this. Get your weapon out. Over to the side here. Oh, that is so cool. No. Oh, too close to my uh, edge of my play space here. Hold on a second. I think this is the one. I like this. This is so cool with the arm swinger like this. Token found. 
Okay, uh, you know what? Let's see what we get. Oh, it's the cleric. Oh, that's fun. Uh, what else? Eh, we'll go for the next, uh, next round. Okay. Stairs, again, you slow down a lot, but I guess, you know, that's kind of realistic, right? You're going up the stairs, it's, uh... Well, what if you go down the stairs? Alright, now you move uh, at a pretty good pace. That's okay. I have to get used to this. This is so, so uh, weird to do this without moving, without swinging your arms, you know? Because again, like I said, you usually have to do this, right? Like if you turned off, you turned off the uh, base speed. Basically, what would you, what you would do with the arm swinger is if you wanted to move forward. You would move your gun a little bit, right? So you'd be doing this, this movement, because you're shaking your controller, right? But now, get over here. Base speed slow. Here. What's over there? Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Just a second. Need to get to the center of my play space. And take it. That is so cool. You don't have to swing your arms anymore. <laughs> I really do like this change. Okay, uh, yeah, let's see what we get here. All right, this is the uh, Mat 49, I think. Oh, the Moss 49, sorry. Wrong, wrong weapon. Wait, hold on, what did that say? Oh, six. All right, well... Oh, forgot. I have to watch out for patrols. Hold on just a second. <laughs> Gotta get back to the center of my play space here.
I love that. <laughs> that is so cool. All right, let me check this out. What is this? Oh, it is a Mauser. Okay. All right. This video is getting too long, so let's just speed this up. Go to sensitivity training, they said. You will be less of a dick, they said. Shit. Huh? Oh no, where did you come from? All right, let's just do this. System note. Hold this position. Analyzing system. <laughs> These grenade launchers make everything so easy. Ah, that was close. Terrible aim. I need to work on my aim. Let's try the pistol. Override tokens found. Advance to next system node and take it. Wonder what next system record Make sure it's on fire and not safe. I really have no idea what I'm doing. You know what? Completely forgot. I have a laser on this thing. Override token found. Hear meat splattering. Downstairs, huh? It's a weird way to make a living, but it's an honest one. So if I want to move this way, I'll just angle my controller this way. <laughs> They're throwing a lot of smoke here. God, he got me. Oh my 
goodness. Is there somebody else there? Override token found. Oh, an R8. Nice. <laughs> I'll just keep that. All right, let's get this on. It is so cool. This this new uh, this new arm swinger movement is is top notch. There's a little bit of a jittering going on, but I think that might be uh, my computer. But it only happens when I'm moving sideways, or strafing, sorry. But when I'm moving forward, it doesn't seem to happen that much. Oh, well, it does. it does. I don't know. Maybe it's just my computer being bad. Interfacing with system node. Okay. Analyzing system. Are you coming from behind? Terrible aim. Wait. Oh, it's flying out of. <laughs> Why? Why do you do this to me? Oh no. Okay. Where am I going? Where am I going here? Behind, behind. Nope. Ah, is that a grenade? <laughs> I just want to get this done, so you know what? Let's go and get to the last hold point. <laughs> These stairs are tripping me up. All right, let's. Oh no! Ah, grenade! I forgot to jump. Another grenade. I heard a grenade. Oh, patrols. Interfacing with system node. Hold this position. Oh, hopefully I put a 
<laughs> Blow him up. No, you don't. Hardened. Pretty bad shooting that grenade off right next to me. All right, all right, all right, hold on. There's area everywhere. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I just kind of lost it. No, stop. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, you kidding me? Man, they just like show up everywhere, don't they? <laughs> it's insane how many of them just popped out. Oh no. Oh, I dropped it. That's it. Data extracted. All right. Five override tokens found. <sighs> Advance to next system node and take it. All right, I'm going to do... Uh, actually, I think it's time for me to go. I have to go somewhere today, so this is... Uh, this is not going to be for long, but you know what? I'm just going to clear this one hold point and maybe... When that secondary character is fixed, I'll play a little more take and hold later. Well, let's do some tactical clearing here. I love doing that. There's somebody upstairs. Oh no, where did you come from? Oh no. What the? <laughs> oh 
Ho, 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 ho. I need to find some cover. Also, I am lost right now. I don't even know where I am in my uh, play space. Oh, man. Wow, that is exhausting. Just to be, like, constantly on your guard, you know? Anton kind of made the, uh, like, the patrols, like, just spawn a lot more, so they just appear from all over. Uh, well, you know, I think that's about it for today. Again, I have to do something, but maybe later if Anton uh, fixes that uh, bug with the, the, whatchamacallit, the Spec Ops, uh, Special Forces Frank, sorry, then uh, I'll play that as well. But uh, for now, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.